much of you does this consume every day, wasting your way? Excuse after excuse! Damn me! That's the word for you! Damn me! This is what this has come to! Damn me! You let down all the blue! You're a damn me! Till the end, I won't forget! What's up, everybody? Richard from True Shot back today with another solo reaction video. Today, it's a Patreon request. This one is from Brad G. He's got us checking out Queen Kona and their track Boundaries Dissolved. Now, at this point, I've checked out a Queen Kona album. We checked out their track of Forest of Blind Men. And now, we're going to be checking out Boundaries Dissolved. I don't want to waste any more time. Uh, these guys are very interesting. Um, and so I'm really looking forward to what they have to offer in this track. A lot, All the guys do vocals, which is really, really cool. Um, so I'm, I'm curious to see what these guys factor in here. This track came out in 2019. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to checking this out. Let's, uh, let's do it. Oh, some some born of Osiris techie breakdown. Drop it low. So that was Queen Kona boundaries dissolved. All right, let me uh, all right, let me pull my notes over here, and I'll I'll think of a great while I'm talking it through. 
Um, okay. So, these guys are very talented. Uh, uh, definitely instrumental, vocally, of course, as well. But instrumentally, these guys really... Um, they're really they're really talented musicians in that in that aspect especially um you know open it up with those gent riffs man you know i, I think that that's really cool um you know they had like that pan i want to say this too i i want to be talking about some panning right here but these guys did a really nice job of panning throughout the entire track really creating um a really cool atmosphere for the listener unfortunately a lot of people probably don't listen on devices that probably can take full advantage of that but for me who's listening to this on headphones or if you're in the car um you know ho hopefully you'll be able to take advantage of listening to that because it's really cool and they did it first um you know before the vocals came in um i noticed you know so with the three choruses i believe it was three i noticed the everything but the first one i couldn't really sense any melodies with the cleans um in the first chorus it just kind of sounded like one layer straight through um and like i said it, it went all panty panty again uh which is really really cool i'm into that um and then it had like that born of osiris style tech breakdown which i thought was really cool um and then to kind of close that out there at the end they had like that little bass section and i think they went back to that main gent riff um Listen, man, I think Queen Cone is pretty cool. Um, I think, I think for me, um, I don't know. I just, it, it's, um, it's, it's, it's more of like a kind of a feeling that I kind of get. And, and there, there's especially, I, I think with the forest of blind men, I, I enjoyed that track. Uh, cause I think it had a little bit more you know, of what I like to call the peaks and the valleys. Um, this one had a little bit of it, but it just kind of seemed a little bit straight through for me. Um, obviously, a lot of really awesome musicianship on display, but um, I don't know. It just kind of, um, I didn't really get those, like, moments, you know, like, um, especially vocally. I just kind of felt like the vocals were kind of, uh, obviously, they were, they were good vocals. I'm not saying that, but it just kind of felt like, they were just there um, in that they they were kind of, it was kind of like the instrumental was the focus and the vocals were kind of just overlaying that. And that's fine for some people, and I totally understand and respect that. But for me, I really like the vocals to kind of be a little bit more of the show, so to speak. Um, but anyways, I thought this was a pretty cool track. I give it about a 7 out of 10. Um, I'm looking forward to what more what more these guys have to offer. I mean, obviously, this was you know a couple of years ago, and they've released music since then, of course. But I'm looking forward to what they have coming out next um, because I think I think that they have the talent down. The talent aspect is there. I think it's a little bit more of just, for me, the way that I listen to me, and I know that I'm not, I, I could be in the majority, but I, I, I don't know. I'm just speaking this from my point of view, is that I really like it when, I really like bands that where the vocals are kind of, not always, I mean, mostly the emphasis. I'm not saying that it needs to be like the vocal is just going nuts the whole time and like, all right, you guys just stand back. But there needs to be those moments. And um, I th I didn't think this track had too many of them. Um, I just, I couldn't really sink my teeth into it uh, in that way. But anyways, there you guys have it. 7 out of 10 for me with Queen Kona and their track Boundaries Dissolved. As you can see all around me. All the usernames to all of the bands, social media, as well as Patreon and Twitch. All those links are below. And until the next one, peace.